Yes, my peoples, it's T, and today we have another unboxing. Let's get it. So today I'll be unboxing the MacBook Pro M1 Pro Max. So as you can see, fresh, still in its plastic casing, and we're gonna actually open this up and talk about some of the actual specifications of this beast of a machine. So this is Apple's latest iteration on the MacBook Pro, and it's also Apple's most powerful machine. So all you creators out there, people who do media, digital, you're definitely gonna be interested in this. So let's start with the unboxing. You can see, I have a little nib here, which is what you use to kind of pull it open, plastic case. Oof, I'm not sure you can see that there, but this is very satisfying, <laughs> very satisfying. So I'm gonna just open this out of the plastic casing. And now we can see, we'll just have a regular jiggler cardboard box, which is obviously recyclable as Apple do. So now for the first opening, let's do this slowly, very slowly. Lots of air trapped inside, so it may take some time and then here we have it, the Mac Book Pro 16 inch. Forgot to mention that earlier as well. So this is the latest and greatest, biggest size. So now, as you can see, it comes in a little plastic protective case as well. And essentially, we're gonna open this up again. Huge beast of a machine. As you can see, protective. So I'm gonna keep this to one side for now. And we're gonna have a look what's actually inside of the box. So as usual with most Apple products comes with a little plastic, sorry, cardboard box with the little booklets and of course the signature Apple stickers. As you can see, um, most people don't even touch this. So let's keep that to one side. We also have, and this is a feature that I'm glad is back on the Macs a MagSafe connector, um, as you can see. So this is USB-C to MagSafe, which is very, very nice. And of course we have the usual um, power adapter. At least it comes with one. Um, I'm sure they can't get rid of that on the, on the laptops, but on the phones, you don't get any of this stuff anymore. Um, and of course you have the power brick, which connects to this adapter in the box. So we'll, we'll talk more later about the specification of the actual power brick itself. And one more thing, the price. For the Apple MacBook Pro M1 Max, that's a mouthful, the price is, at the base model of the Max without any of the configurable upgrades, is £3,299. So, pretty pricey, but it packs a whole lot of punch and it's jam-packed with loads of features. So let's put this to one side. And then now let's talk about the actual mas machine itself. So you can see it's quite big. This is the silver model as you can see. So I'm gonna open this for the first time as well. So hopefully this is a simple process. There we go. Very satisfying there. I'm gonna open it carefully in case I need to send it back. <laughs> Um, so yeah, this is the MacBook Pro, as you can see. A new feature here, this is engraved onto the bottom of the product, so this is very nice. And then on the front, as you can see, we have the signature Apple logo as well. Um, the light hasn't returned, as some people thought, but still a very nice logo. And let's get into it a little bit. So on the side, as you can see, we have the return of the actual connections, um, the connectors of the, of the laptop. So um, the previous iteration of this, we had to buy a separate dongle to connect anything to it, such as a HDMI cable or a USB-C port. But now it has these things already made on the device itself. So we have a HDMI slot here, as you can see. We also have a USB port as well. Um, I think this also is Thunderbolt 4. And we have the SDXC port, which is for your SD cards and all of your digital media 
fun thing. So let's move on to the actual opening of this device for the first time. So let's see the screen. Oh, oh wow. And it turned on straight away too. So um, as you can see, it has a protective film on top of the screen, which I'm gonna slowly peel off for you as well. Again, this is very satisfying. Fresh out of the box, Apple M1 chip. And it's very polite as well. It says hello when you first open it. So very good there. Um, as you can see, this is a 16, 16 inch model um, and the screen is, is in person. Um, beautiful, beautiful. Um, but again, we'll get into the specs of that shortly as well. Um, and then it also has a new keyboard. I know there were some issues on the previous keyboard iteration, but this iteration has a new keyboard, which feels much better. And it has a US, um, sorry, a fingerprint scan as well, as they all do now. So this is the MacBook Pro 16 inch. I'm gonna get into some- To use English as the main language. Oh wow. Press the return key. Now she's talking to me. Now she's talking to me. So let's get into this a little bit. Um, some of the features we need. So. Um, this is the Apple M1 chip, so, uh, but this is the M1 Max chip, which is the most powerful version of this device. As you can see, um, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. So let's talk about the chip a little, a little bit to close this down. So we have a 10 core CPU, which has eight performance cores and also two efficiency cores. Um, and then it also has a 32 core GPU. So. The graphics on this are gonna be next level and as well as a 16 core neural engine. So basically what that means is in simple terms for anyone out there who's not techie, this is a very powerful beast of a machine, beast of a machine. Um, and the display, um, the display is a liquid retina XDR display, 16.2 inches diagonal across, so that way. and it's essentially Apple's greatest and latest screen. It's probably quite similar to the actual external XDR displays that they have um, with a resolution of 3,456 by 2,234. Um, so very, very beautiful display here. And one of the features that I actually am really pleased um, that has come to the MacBook Pro, I have it on my iPhone 13 um, is it has actual the ProMotion technology, which means it has an adaptive refresh screen rate of 120 Hertz. And trust me, once you go ProMotion, there's no going back. Um, every other screen looks so par uh, once you've actually seen a ProMotion screen, um, which means everything looks very smooth when you, you're moving icons and windows across the screen. They actually look really smooth and really nice. So yes, that is the screen. And then moving on to the memory. So the memory um, is 32 gigs, but this is configurable to up to 64 gig. And this actual particular model actually has been upgraded to the latest and the highest you can get, which is 64 gigs of memory. So just imagine doing some video editing, for example, in Final Cut Pro, imagine how quickly your videos will export with pain-free, very quick. And there actually has have been some benchmark tests um, against a few of the top uh, Windows machines, um, Intel machines, and even the previous iterations of the MacBook Pros. And this completely blows all of them out of the water in terms of the speed of processing. So powerful, great. And of course, when you're doing exporting and you're on the go and, and you want to you know, edit your videos or pictures, of course, you're going to want um, a very powerful battery as well that can last long whilst you're doing your editing, for example. Um, or even if you're not even using this for editing, you want to it to last long so you have a long haul flight so the battery on this for example it can last up to 21 hours of watching apple tv which is incredible um, that's basically an all-day battery life from a laptop usually back in the days you would get a laptop and after three hours of, watch, of watching a, a program it will be dead but this one lasts for almost the whole day in 21 hours um, so and to not only not only to add to that also the fact it has a quick charge. So as I showed you earlier, it comes with um, a 140 watt charging brick, which has the fast charge cap capability inside of it. So we can get from zero to 100 real quick. 
So that's the battery. Now, in terms of the capacity, usually, typically, it comes with a one terabyte SSD, but this is actually configurable also up to a maximum of eight terabytes. So you can have two, four, and eight. And of course, if you have eight terabytes, it's basically unlimited space. Um, so that's the usage and the capacity. It also comes with, as I mentioned earlier, various um, ports, but it also has, um, the one thing I did fail to mention is, comes with two USB-C ports on the side, as well as the new MagSafe 3, and obviously Thunderbolt 4, which is compatible with USB 4, as well as the headphone jack. So this is not your normal, typical headphone jack. This is Apple's first laptop that actually has a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack with advanced support for high impedance headphones as well. So that's actually very good for um, the people, people that are using this in a studio, in media, because you actually can use high impedance headphones um, and it will actually power those headphones as well. So that is a very great feature there um, by Apple thinking about all of the media enthusiasts out there. So let's talk about the display. So as I mentioned earlier, um, yes, the display is beautiful, ProMotion, Liquid, Retina, XDR, but also mentioned it comes with three Thunderbolt 4 connectors. And what this allows you to do is connect a number of external displays. And if you have the M1 Max version, this actually, actually allows you to connect up to three external displays with a resolution of 6K which is obviously very beautiful. Imagine you're gaming or you're editing or you know, you're a professional, you can actually have a number of different um, elements on a number of different screens. So in total, up to four screens with the free external and the MacBook screen as well. Free, four screens all displaying in super high quality and you can actually get a lot more done. So that's the screens. As well as that, it also has the HDMI out port and the standard um, USB-C ports and compatibility with USB 4. So a couple of additional features. Um, standard, it has Wi-Fi and it supports Wi-Fi 6, which is the latest technology out at the moment. It also supports Bluetooth 5.0, again, the latest version of that, and the camera. Now this is where the upgrade from the previous Mac is gonna really show. Because yes, the display is beautiful and it has the Apple design language of the notch now, just like the phones. Um, but behind this notch is an upgraded FaceTime front camera. Now the previous version of the front camera looked okay on the Mac, but it wasn't as good as this one. This one is 1080p, which you will hope, yeah, obviously you, you, you will wish it was a 4K camera, um, but on a little small thin screen like this, it'd be quite hard to get that in there. But compared to the previous model, this 1080p FaceTime HD camera makes you look beautiful. <laughs> so this is the, of course I mentioned this is a 16 inch version of the MacBook Pro. So let's just put it next to the previous iteration, the M1. This is an M1 MacBook 13 inch model. So we can see the difference in size and the difference in design. Um, now despite, of course, as, as you know, the newer versions that made them slightly thicker than the old versions. Um, some people are not happy about that, but it's thicker for a reason, of course, more power, but also to include the ports on the side as well. So this is um, the reason for that. So let's put this side by side. So as you can see, um, of course, they're not the same inches, but different design, slightly thicker edge. Um, and essentially, I, I, I actually do like um, the design of the previous MacBooks a lot. It's nice and thin, nice and light, easy to carry. Um, but this this new design, I say new design, it actually looks like um, the model before the last model um, a little bit. So they're going a little bit backwards, bringing back the MagSafe, etc. But it is still very nice. And um, this machine is quite heavy, a bit of a beast. But of course, you enthusiasts and professionals who get this top, top, top model won't care about that. You, all you care about is the actual power that is being outputted. Cool, so that is the MacBook M1 Max 16 inch.
like, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz. Peace.